An early start to the weekend series Thursday, Friday, Saturday with Easter weekend. The game this this series and making sure that that ball stays in the yard. You've got to keep the ball down in the zone, but also it's a gem and this is going to be a good lineup for her to face. And right away she gets Mackenzie Herzog, the most dangerous of tech hitters. Goal hitter, Kaylee Wyckoff, Ellie Bailey, Peyton Blythe, Ariana Villa. To see this matchup, I think it's going to be super competitive and really good for both pitchers. Two. Ground ball right side. Two way on a nice play by Jennings. It's that moment where I have to remind her. Played her heart out and then said, you know what? I'm going to go do it all over again for the Sooners. And she had to keep up with that. <laughs> <laughs> Three, one. In center field, but not with Jada Coleman. That's a no-fly zone. As Coleman makes it look easy. On ESPN Plus. By Norman Regional Health. There is TRA. Her nine home runs, her nine doubles, and her 42 hits on this. 3-1. Look at a little carry. It'll be caught short of the warning track. One away. And here is. Yeah. And it, it might be a situation where you still her a minute to get going in the power category. First pitch right at Blythe in left field. I mean, that ball was sm She's at five of her nine home runs. So <laughs> to say she. 3-1. Blast it out of here! It leaves the stadium! Hey. Um, she's really working that inside corner and she's cleared some space for her hands. Really gives the Sooners a one zip lead on a ball that's headed towards another city. Wake up, Goldsby. That one might be a reason why, too. She is really started to find her groove after zip. Dangerous count here for Keel. Hanson, though. Nice job by. Or did it go? It got away from Bailey. He coming off the bat of Hansen into Oryx's glove. But Three on Bailey. Those are the types of goodness. She was <laughs> a star last weekend. So fun. Here's the 2 2. Oryx safely goes to second to end it, but the sooner is strike first. We'll get you those number three weekend coming up later on in the broadcast. So Flags at the grandstands are pointing straight out. Carrying and carrying, and Riley Boone is smooth. There's one casino keys to the game. One key, we can already put a little check by. While she's in the circle. Ariana Villa out of Jordan. Watch Storaco try to make the play. She can't. Brito is there, but not in time. Texas Tech fields the position well. She's one of the better fielding pitchers Tried to make the play, back a punch. Barraza has seven home runs as the 0-1 pitch misses up. One ball, one strike. In fact, for Popped up right side. Who's got P.R.A. Jennings? Did a little dance with the wind, and there's two away. Kreitz, the catcher, on the season, making her a pitcher who's 11-0 on the season. It's a 1-2. That's it. Has a beat. She'll be called off by Riley Boone, and that'll do it in the second. Boone, and that ends the inning. We head to the bottom of the second. Inning. First appearance for Hoover out of Edgewood 10. Lena is starting to carve out a spot and run to shallow center. Easy play for Villa. There's one away. Here comes Brita. Loops this one on the infield. Easy play, and there's two away. A good look. Love out of Keller, Texas. The 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. One away. Good job by Hanson. What do you think, Destiny? Hey, I'm pretty pumped about this. This Poppy's home. Man. 1 1. Pops this one into no man's land for most teams, but guess what? Jada Coleman is there, and there's two away. Look at that 398 average on the year. Ford, she runs batted in the last two games heading into this, and she lines that one off a hop to Sanders. Sydney Sanders makes it look smooth, and the inning is over. Alex, it's going to be a long weekend, I think. Speaking of people that make you uncomfortable, if you're an opposed, here's the pitch. Popped up. Second pop up we've seen for the Sooners, where it calls off everyone, and there's. 
one away. Over at first, Bailey is back. Yeah, they're leaving a wide open space and that right through that gap. Or lay down a bunt to challenge the infield. The throw, got her. Jada tumbles, but she's okay. There's so the, the point we're making about the replays is you get two two balls, two strikes. Here it comes. Got it. Swinging any. Well, whatever the philosophy is, it's working so far. Well, we've seen a ton of foul balls kind of kick right back towards our way here in the press box, but lots of miss. How great is how great has Jen Roach been for this staff the last few years? Oh, she's seeing Nicole May all the way through. Well, Boone took a late break. Good news, she's fast, and there's two away. In her fifth season. Oh, my, this could be a quick inning. Watch Sanders race to the base. Got her. Hayden Blythe is retired, and those early swings are making a quick. We've seen a lot of action this year. 22nd appearance them here. Haley Lee has the only hit for the Sooners so far. One eight. Here's the 3-1 to Lee. Oh, way out in front of it. Strike two. That's only strike two. They're throwing it around for Bailey her last time up. Time. Button run. Could be two. To first, Hanson beat it out. That's the speed of Kinsey Hanson. Words, Grace Lyons, Grace Green, Alyssa Brito, and Coach Gasso were there. City, that was something else. She swings at the first pitch. Nice play by Love, who was drawn in. Again, we'll exchange. Using to swing more at that inside pitch, that pitch that's at their hands. And I'm seeing a little bit of that. Here's the 3 1, ball four. This is the first time an issue for Kendall Fritz. So I think she's trying to shrink that zone and make sure she gets a pick. Like that, Burrito off to the races, easily scoring his Lions. Here comes Erickson. It's a two run in her field, and it's three nothing Sooners. Her 12th double. So 21 of her 39 hits are for extra bases. Let's use the second take on that one. Granted, ended up grounding out to second. The runner at second, 0-2. Line drive, falling fast, caught. Oh, it was. What a play by Blythe in left field. Hooping in center. It's wild to think. But both are shortstops. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. I'm a little biased there. Yeah, you're right. Swing and a miss. Wow. <laughs> Starting to see more of a rhythm. A little up at the hands. Oh, no. 2-2. <laughs> two, two. This could be trouble to right field. Avery Hodge! Avery Hodge with a diving catch! To atone for the error she made when she threw it around. Right now, it's just a problem for us. There's a laser to left field, falls for a hit. And Texas Tech has its second hit of the game, and Kennedy Kreitz is aboard in the field. You see that average even drop, 185. She pops this one up, should in the inning. Grace Lyons will give way to Alyssa Brito, and the inning is over. And Olivia Reigns has pitched in Norman on this field since May. Against Wichita State and against Florida State in the champion. Full count with Reigns. There's a looper. That could be trouble if it's fair. That hugs the line. And Riley Boone is off to second. Look at the speed on Boone. Not her best swing or best piece of it, but finding a way to get on. Season than she has in her previous three years. So much confidence in. Just a lot more aggressive. This is a fly ball to left. It doesn't have enough. Fans in the left field stand started starting her collegiate career too. Olivia Reigns having a quick. Olivia Reigns headed home. Ball four. And look out. Look out for Boone. She'll stay at third. As that ball got away. To draw some attention to herself over at first base. With the speed of Boone at third. Here's the 1-0. Lee checked her swing, runner goes. They'll throw down and get her. Oh, what a play by Kreitz. Now we're ready. The 2-2. Two -two. Grounded to short. Might be close. Lee's moving the throw. Got her. Nice play over at first by Bailey. Smooth, as always, by Oric. One of the main reasons for Tech has been 
this woman right here, Alex Duroc. Troll. Orc has been very solid at Kinsey Hansen. In her field, they hop and hit off the wall. Coleman's laser back in is not in time. Feel like we haven't seen much of Herzog tonight. She swung at the first. One ball, two strikes, the pitch. Hyens, she's so smooth. She is so smooth. What a way. Really do. Sin, though, circles under and makes the catch. Runner tags it second. They're going to try the arm and good call. Loss to Iowa State. The 3 1 is ball four. She's 0 for 2 tonight, but reaches. Her last home run came. Here's the 2 1. Line drive, nice scoop by Sanders, and she'll beat her to the bag to end the inning. Sixth different pitcher of the night. Rancy out of Geyer, number one. There isn't that's been hit there. She's all in tonight. 3-2, late break, and caught Wyckoff. Feel like plays a little bit different from the rest of the field. Bottom of the sixth inning. Way outside. Ball four. What a great at bat by Grace Lyons. Battling it off. Made the big play. You know, in the four. Erickson's retired on the swing and a miss. In our Big 12 scoreboard. Baylor beat tennis. Here's the one, two. Got away, off to second goes Lions. Sooners have a runner in scoring position to try to finally returns back home. Which will be against the strikes. Here's the pitch to G3. All right, two, three, three, and they got it. Brito looking, stunned. Rihanna Villa, who is one for two, she has one of the three Texas Tech hits. Has her approach, yeah, mm -hmm. you, you need enough pitchers. Swing and a miss! Ostrarocco with a little fist pump with five run rule wins, which setting. Rito struggles and can't get it. So uh, well, we'll await the, the... And then, so when they played Kentucky, it was great. Rito called off everyone, makes a night catch. No balls and a strike. Popped up. Sanders racing basket catch got it behind an absolute gym from Alex Storacco 34 on the season they're 7 and 0 in Big 12 play and they've won 31 Tina's I'm Chris Plank one of the cool post-game traditions like you see Olivia Reigns a big hug for